man, they they own a lot of stuff, man. That's crazy. That's so they own Disney. They own almost all of Disney. That's why you see the movies that are coming out out of Disney right now, and a lot of the mainstream movie companies they have a lot of the DEI, DEI in there. And it, so it was die actually at first it was DIE. And then when people start memeing it, yeah, if you, if this company gets involved, you're going to die. Uh, but that's why they're doing so bad right now because the movies, people don't want to see that in their movies. They, you know, movies are an escapism. I don't need to be taught a lesson. I don't want to want to be lectured to. I want to be influenced. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be lectured. So I just want to go watch a good movie. I think about like, you know, your old movies, like it was just a like movie. You, you didn't have to, you know, some movies are going to touch people differently. You're going to have a thought of it, but yo, I'm going to just enjoy a movie, man. You know, well, how do now you make, movie, how do you make a movie relate with everyone? If you can't include everyone, you know? Yeah. Um, but also some movies aren't made for everyone because there's exactly movies that came out like Philadelphia. Right. Yes. What a great fucking movie. classic. I guarantee you, there were so many people who were phobic who were like, "I'm not gonna watch that movie." Yeah. No. But you have to look at how it's advertised too. It wasn't advertised like you have to go watch this. Like it's we're representing, you know, the uh, gay community or this community. It's, it's a movie. It's out there. Like in one of the things I hate seeing now is when a movie fails either the actors or the producers or writers blame the audience and say you're racist or you're homophobic or you're this or that. No, it's your movie sucks, man. People are not going to go by if they don't want to watch it. Yeah. You just said you wouldn't go watch one, uh, a movie. What movie we're talking about? Um, uh, fuck man. We started the, it was a, I don't, so, I don't go to the movies for much, but as I'm saying, like why? Cause you just, there's no interest for you. Like, no, fuck that. I'm not interested. It's not, does that mean that you're, you know, like, um, Beetlejuice, you don't want to go out to be, are you, are you fucking racist against, you know, this, like, no, I, the movie looks like it's going to suck. I don't want to go watch it, man. Yeah. That's all it is. I'll go watch any movie. I think it's going to be good, you know? So I think that's another problem too, that you, you can't shit on your fans, for, you know, that's at least what's happened in Marvel. All the movies that flop, they blame the fans for, and they called them racist and homophobes. And guess what? They're not, and they just don't want to watch your shit because it's fucking garbage as fuck. And then you blame the fans for it. Like, no, you made a shitty movie, bro. Like, you made a horrible movie. I remember I watched, I went to a movie and watched, and it was, there was so much action that you lost the plot of the movie. Mm -hmm. You forgot who was fighting who and why. You were just like, that's cool. He picked up a car and he threw it. Oh, and he hit that guy. Why did he hit that guy? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's so much action that you're just like, you wait for it to be over so they can talk about it. And then I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lost me when when all the CG, when the home movie CG, essentially. Like, when, when even the human actors look like they're CG. Cause oh, you mean the la the last one that they had? Yeah. It just, yeah, it was, was, yeah. But think, it. Of, think about the original. The original, team, that was a legit movie. Four turtles, couple characters, and it was just a, it was a, a story about brotherhood. Dudes in rubber suits. It was yeah. not, nothing fake yeah. about it. It was just dudes in rubber suits. I, literally, I, I think that's a problem. Movies now they use so much CGI. It's not it's not good. You're like, no, like and like you said, there's so much happening. It's like I can't follow everything at once. Like you gotta, you know, you gotta make it more basic. Not more basic, but like you know, uh more understandable to the average viewer you know what yeah. i'm saying I, I get it when it's not when it's sci-fi like not real absolutely like it's when it's meant to be like that yeah yeah i yeah. get it i don't know what that thing's supposed to look like it's not a real thing yeah you can make it look however you want i don't know what textures it's supposed to have you know yeah i get that but if it's like a human being interacting with this elevator that's moving at a certain speed and you're like that shit looks so fake like I don't know, man. So since we're talking about movies, what's like one of your top movies that you really like, like, and you still remember today? Like you would watch it again if they're like, hey, it's going to be at the theater. You would go back and watch it at the theater, even though it's an old movie. Do you have any that you could think of? Um, the movie that I could watch over and over is uh, Blow. I could watch Blow over and over. Oh, yeah. Johnny Depp was legit in that. Um, Penelope Cruz. 
Once Upon a Time in America was a, was a classic. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of them. What about you? Uh, so, of course, I'm Cuban. I'm like Scarface. I could watch that all the time. It's a basic movie. Not a lot of crazy shit. Um, you know, another movie, Backdraft. Do you ever watch Backdraft? Oh, yeah. That's another one. Like, that's... You hear and then the, the fire will get sucked yeah the damn door. See, but you see how you remember that? Like that's a movie. Like that's a good movie. I could I could watch that one. Um, and you know another movie I could watch all the time. I, I I mean I watch every deployment. I watch it. Uh, Ace Ventura. It's super stupid, but it's a good just funny comedy that you could just laugh at. Yeah, you can't make it. you can't make movies like that now. But yeah, I I definitely like the ones that take you back to being a kid like you remember exactly how old you were when you watched it or like the feeling you had when you watched it yeah <clears throat> if you watch it now as an adult you're gonna you're if you watch it for the first time as an adult you're obviously gonna have a different yeah. feeling with it, but it does the nostalgia it of it yeah like scarface that was the first time i got high i forgot how old i was i remember i had this bro i had this big ass bowl of cereal not like a little bowl i had like a most big big bucket things I was so hard just eating that shit, watching. <laughs> and I think I watched that thing probably like 10 times in a row. I mean, I was just like infatuated with it, you know? Mm -hmm. I got yeah. two fucking things. My word and my fucking balls. I'm break for them. <laughs> it's so good, man. And there's like, there's TV shows like that that are, you know, that you, I could watch over and over. I know the ending of it, but I'd watch it again. Sopranos was one. I yeah, love the Sopranos. There's a lot of TV shows because there's a lot that you forget, especially the shows with you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten series. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, uh, seasons. seasons. Yeah. You know, there's a lot like Sons of Anarchy. There's a lot. In oh, between. yeah. That's a good one, too. God. Story, you know, of, um, was it Opie? Like, just. The I was going to say, hey, what's what's the one thing you remember from that series? I can tell you what it is for me. When Opie went to jail and gets murked. Yeah. That just, I was screaming at the TV. I was like, oh, it was, and like how he tells him goodbye to the wind. Oh, Dude, yeah, that was the one, man. I was fucking so pissed and sad. Like you could see the pain, and oh man, I was just. And I loved Opie was a great character. I loved Opie, man. Mm -hmm. God, he was a, he was a ride and die motherfucker, man. God. Yeah, but, he was a great character. He's he's a real dude too. Like he's a real, real g'd up dude. Yeah, that's the thing though, man. TV shows now, I don't, I can't think of any TV shows now, and I'm like, man, that's like, it, you know. But. I mean, there's, let's see. Yeah, it's Sons of Anarchy, like Game of Thrones. Like, those are shows that are like, phew, yeah, forever. I would, I would add Sopranos. I love the Sopranos. Sopranos. I thought it was an awesome show. Um, man, I'm trying to think of another one that was good. I think those are like my top two, man. I had all the seasons and I used to watch it like on repeat. Especially, you know, like the deployments, man, you just binge tons and tons of shows. Like, I remember I got into Suits. I watched every episode of Suits. Oh, you know what's another one was good? I liked I don't know, uh, The West Wing. I don't know if you ever watched it. It was Charlie, or not Charlie Sheen, Martin Sheen played the president of the country and just stuff that the president has to go through day by day and stuff. It was a pretty good show. Um, I liked, um, there was another one like that. Madam President or Vice, I think it was. There's been a couple more of a comedy. Um, Breaking Bad, man. They, oh, God. That's I, why I totally didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bro. Make them like that, dude. That That's up there with Game of Thrones. And, and hey, when, when what's his name is laying on the ground, they're going to kill him. And he's like, hey, stop saying something. We could probably make a deal. And he's like, Walter, you don't understand. He already made his decision. For, I was like, oh, bro. Yeah. Like you yep. can disremember points in that shit. Yep. Sure. When when his wife was in a storage unit with just Ugh. piles of money and they didn't know what to do with it, yeah, and like that's that's when you realize that they're both in on it together. Yeah, but they're not together. Obviously. Not together. Yeah. Or when he's got a boy in the in the basement chained up and he stabs Walter in the fuck it with the with the glass. Yeah. He has the 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 what's it called? <laughs> and Walter's got the yeah, the dude. Oh, what was it? Was it called the club? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sure, well, he had it around his neck. It was like a bike lock or something. And it was so, but that was that's iconic though, man. Mm -hmm. Like you can remember that specific part. You're like, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, they don't make them like that, man. Sopranos, and they took fucking pussy out on the boat, and oh, and he's can I have another drink? You're like, oh, it's so good, so good, man. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Christopher was kind of like the the Opie for for well, so was Pussy was too, but Pussy was too, but yeah, like, yeah. Like when he took out Chris, I was like, damn, bro. When he took out Chris, man, I was fucked, dude. That was cold blooded. Oz was a good one back in the days. I liked Oz. There was a little too much butt fucking in it for me though, but I did watch it. Yeah. But I was like, every time, like, um. Oh, what's his name, man? That he, show made motherfuckers scared of prison. Bro, it did, but uh man, J.K. Yeah, Rollins. Yeah. Jake and when he 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 was gay, you know, he just uh oh, I don't know. That yeah. was your favorite part? What, what, yeah, what that was my favorite part. Then? That was my you're favorite just part. Saying, just, you're just on about it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so just so much so sex. Oh. <laughs> I know I mean, some of the Merc scenes were good too, but no, it's that was a good show. I was, hey, the wire. That's another one. The Wire. Oh yeah, I watched that actually just recently because yeah, uh, yeah that. Oh, oh, boy died from that show. Remember, uh, I can't remember his name, but he died not too long ago. Um, Omar. Omar. Yeah, Omar. Thank you. That was another one, man. I love the Wire. God, the Wire was dope, bro. Yeah, Omar was. Uh, he was in a recent, like, uh, I don't say documentary, but he yeah? was in a recent documentary about. Um, oh shit! I didn't see that. About the cannabis industry and, and all kinds of other stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think you there could be a show made today like The Wire or The Sopranos or Oz or anything like that today in today's world? I don't think so. They get close, man. Um, Snowfall was good. I haven't uh, seen was, Snowfall. What's that about? Uh, it's about crack epidemic. It's about cocaine. It's about when they first started you know when crack first hit the streets okay and to check that out is it on netflix amazon the the young cat that took advantage of that and saw the opportunities and and ran with it um it's on was on fx or whatever hulu what's the name of the show snowfall okay i'm gonna look it up real quick oh Uh, shit I know this. I haven't watched. I've seen. I saw a little bit of it. I, I've seen the, to the, the wire, clips and shit. I've seen the I mean, clips from it. Obviously, like the Shield back in the days. Yeah, yeah, Frank. Yeah, uh, he plays Franklin Saint. I remember that now. Yeah, I didn't watch all of it, man. I remember that. Yeah, that show. That was yeah, yeah. It, it, it was back in like 2017, 18, like that. I was yeah. yeah. And then, and then you know the obvious ones, power and and. Power got shitty though, man. Yeah. It started off good, but it fell off like hard. I'm sorry. I just you can say it for a lot of shows that they fall off, but some yeah. shows that carried through the whole time, I thought that were good, you know? Yeah, I I, I think I watched the first two. I saw the two seasons with his son. I saw the other season with um I didn't see the Tommy one. And I think that's when I stopped watching Stars, and then, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen the Tommy one late. I heard that one. <laughs> I mean, I like the. I mean, I like the main character Ghost was cool, but it, it just I don't know. It, it got more, um, like more showy than like mm-hmm. story based, at least for me. Um, it was during know. weird time too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of stuff going on in the world when it came out, you know. Yeah, and, like so. It was crazy. That's another thing too. I think shows are get really good depending on like when they come out and like kind of what's going on in the world, you know. Like, can people relate to it and you know and and go with it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, think about um, man, I was just oh Tiger King. Remember Tiger King? Everyone was on Tiger King. But it was COVID. Remember, COVID was locked down. It came out of nowhere. Like yeah, what, and people what? just—I mean, it was fuck. Carol Baskins was everywhere. Man, remember that shit? Yep. I'm never going financial recover from this. <laughs> it's like you can remember those lines, like bro, that's like, and that was just a documentary on a dude that owned tigers. And, yeah, yeah. It's no true. scripts. This motherfucker had just tigers. Just everywhere. that dude was. Yeah, that dude wasn't right in the head, but yeah, he was. He was entertaining. Like when no girl gets her shit eaten off and he just comes in, he's like, 
And he's got, I remember he's got an EMS bomber jacket on. <laughs> and he's like, he tells the, the, the crew, I'm never going to financially recover from this. It's like, ah, oh, she just lost a limb, bro. But no, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But that was a good show. That was a good show. I like that. Um, do you remember? Um, hold on. I got to look it up, man. I can't remember. I can't remember the name. I got to pull it up real quick. Well, there's some good shows out there, man. Dexter's always, Dexter was a good one. You know, my wife watched that. I never did. I never watched Dexter. Yeah, it was real TV. It was real yeah. TV for me. Like real. I mean, it's, you know, it's obviously it was on primetime television but uh, I, oh I that was a good one huh? i got shogun have you seen shogun it's on oh, fx yeah, yeah 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 that's that's that was the one i was trying to think of. i couldn't think of the name uh i have not seen the latest episode <clears throat> i'm like halfway through the latest episode so you're in what episode six seven seven so uh, six there's two more i think yeah there's eight total yeah okay did you watch um the gentleman i think we talked about this before mm -hmm. have you seen it all now yep Episode six was, was the killer. That was good. Um, episode six was the best. Oh, yeah. It reminded me of, you know, the whole lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Exactly. Oh, it's the same director. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you, yeah, it was good. Um, have you seen, uh, man, uh, the bear? I, so I've watched a little bit of that. I, I haven't gotten into it. I, it's about that, that kid that owns the cook shop. So good. Is it? I love that. I love that kind of like. I haven't watched all of it yet, man. Like, like shameless kind of like that kind of. Oh, like, really? Like that? Yeah. Okay. It's Dirty, like, gritty. Yeah, it's like average really? motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, like they, they no sugar coating. There's no, there's no this side that side. It's just fucking raw. 